Hello, my name is Dirk Riegert. I'm the creative director of NO2205, our newest, <laughs> our newest NO game. So it's been four years since we've seen an NO game. Um, why is now the perfect time for it to come back? Oh, we, we took our time, that's true, but uh, yeah, of course, now, now is the perfect time because uh, the building strategy games, they are uh, setting their marks, and of course the Anno Series 2, uh, last Anno 2070 was already a big success, uh, U USA became our second second biggest market, and um, yeah, we, we, we took our time to think about the game concept, how we can improve it, what to do next, and we decided to stay in the future because we thought, story is not over yet, we want to do something, we want to leave Earth and go to the moon and, and tell another future tale. Now you guys have covered uh, a lot of time periods from medieval dark ages to the future. What made you come back to future again? Yes, we, we had a lot of discussions about that. So is it uh, better to go back to uh, historical times or will we stay in the future? And, and we, we decided that we wanted to stay um, at least for this game uh, in, in the future because we thought that uh, our futuristic vision with the last game was not uh, ended so we wanted to add something to it and also we asked the Anno players uh, what, what they thought and uh, they told us too oh, please uh, stay in the future and we really want to, to leave Earth go, go to the moon in some place and um, uh, go beyond what we experience in 2070 and so we listened to them. So talk a little about you have different essentially zones you can control simultaneously. You have different sections of the Earth and also the Moon, and you can trade and do all this other weird stuff that you haven't been able to do in an Anu game before. Yeah, in the previous Anno games, and, and that's a big change uh, with, with, the, with the current one, uh, you only could play one game world or one game session uh, at once. And uh, when you played another one, it was not connected to the, to the previous one. The players, they really want to keep the stuff that they created because they put so much time on their cities and metropolises that they don't want to lose this. And so we, we made up our mind and came up with a new concept. So now players will be able to connect all the different worlds where they built their metropolises and create one huge empire from them. What will old fans of Anu uh, like about the new version that's coming out? I think the, the Anno fans will really like with the newest Anno game uh, that it's really about building up very huge metropolises because that's what they always like. They want to show off what they created and this time we gave them so much possibilities to create their, their empires like never before and we think they will really appreciate that. So how have... How have advances in, in computer technology helped you improve the game over the last four years? For an Anno game, it's always uh, very important to, to have all these details in the game, but then also to have the strategic overview that you need to control and manage such a game. And that's also the reason why, from a technological aspect, we have our own engine that has... Uh, um, uh, there was an evolution over the, the past years, uh, so we all, always optimized this engine, and this time we, we even created a totally new one that gave us all the possibilities to use all the modern technologies, like you saw, for example, in the shaders, on the skyscrapers and stuff like that, uh, to make this game really shine. You guys have real-time reflections, you guys have a ton of small, little details of the planes, the, the cars flying around, the people harvesting the grass, like, the level of detail is almost astonishing. Yes, the level of details is very important to us, so uh, the people can really zoom in and see like a zillion of cars flying around, people moving, because we really want to create a lively environment that people would like to, to live in or to, to build up for themselves. But then on the other side, if you zoom out, you really have to see the big picture. And uh, we know that the fans love this aspect about the NO game, and so we really try to focus on that and optimize that all the time. Now, City Sims, like you said before, are making a comeback. Why do you think that is? Uh, I think the, the building game genre um, is always something that's very relaxing uh, in, in a stressful world, so you really like, people love to, to create stuff uh, with, with their own hands, and I think for the, especially for the PC uh, uh, gaming um, strategy genre, is, is, it, it's really a match, it really fits to the technologies and the style of playing, so it has always been there and it will always be there in the future. So tell us about the moon, because you can now colonize the moon and uh, do trade routes with Earth. Tell them, uh, how, did, how did that come about, that idea? 
Uh, we really thought a lot when we when we made this new future concept for NO2205 about what could we do outside Earth. And of course, everybody was thinking about, well, we've been to the moon. Why are we not going back? And so we were talking with a lot of scientists and professors from universities and asked them, so what do you think about the future? What will happen? And they said, there is interesting stuff up there on the moon, but we just can get our hands on it right now. We don't have the technology, or if we can do so, it's much too expensive. So um, we, we talked about them, and they said, well, in future times, um, it, it's possible. And when we have the possibilities to get our hands on these resources and all this cool stuff on the moon, we can use it to have a better life back on Earth. And that's uh, what, what we thought that could be a good starting point for our uh, adventure in the future on 2205. So we're going up there on the moon to harvest helium-3, the, the creep resources and all other kind of stuff to, to bring it back to Earth and have a better life there. So what makes your sim, your sim builder different from other sim builders out in the market? Um, NO22 is different from, from other building games because it has a very wide feature range. So it's not only about optimizing your city. There's also a lot of other stuff happening around that. Economy takes its, its part. There are a lot of features you can interact with other characters. There's a narrative element to the game. So it, it, it really stands out um, as it has done for, for the last five installments. So this is the core of the series. And with, with this time, uh, we really streamlined it and made it accessible for a lot of players. So it's a perfect uh, opportunity to really come to this brand if, if you have not played it before. So when will Anno be released in the US? Anno will be released on November 3rd worldwide. This year. This year. <laughs>